they have a command. Every man of accomplishment. Look at Elisha. Elisha prayed. He said, Lord, blind all of them. And God blinded all of them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prayer is the covenant access to the throne. What you are looking for is in the throne. And if you don't access the throne, you cannot get it. It is not about confession. That's why many people are confessed and confessed and now they are confused. In fact, the charismatic church is a bunch of confused people. The charismatic church. Many Pentecostal churches, they are filled with people who are confused. But I know every form of confusion over your mind today, by the instrument of prayer, they are broken in the name of Jesus. Man of accomplishment. Can you try Joseph? Joseph pray. He said, I pray. Now I go to be with my fathers. But the Lord shall surely visit you. But he was not the one who spoke at him. But he prayed to assess the secrets of God. Surely God shall visit you. Even as he has spoken by the mouth of his son, he will show and God visited them. Even if you have a prophecy, what? Go and repeat to him what the next will be like. He said, when you go, don't leave my body here. Come my body away. That body was raised in Canaan, not in Egypt. So if you want to call people who enter Egypt, Joseph entered. Enter Canaan, sorry. Joseph entered. Why? They took his body along. How did they kill him? The guy was not there because as a then, science had already prevailed in Egypt. They could write, they could read, so they could still preserve their bodies. For 40 years, then he got to Canaan. You talk about Daniel. Daniel was a man of accomplishment at the instrument of prayer. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. Nobody could interpret it. He told him, don't worry. There is a means to assess it. Daniel chapter 2 from verse 19. That was. He called on his three evil men. He said, come, let us desire of the mercy. And what do you get mercy from? The throne of God through the instrument of prayer. And he prayed. The Bible said, and God revealed the matter to him in a night vision. So the altar of prayer is the altar of revelation, the altar of accomplishment. When he kept that revelation, Nebuchadnezzar had no choice than to decorate him. Because I did not speak with you on the same bed. Neither can I know your dream. God bless evil. Why we didn't sleep on the same bed? When you sleep on the same bed with your husband, can your husband never know the dream you dreamt? Unless you tell me, no. Here, yeah, Nebuchadnezzar was asking me how to tell me my dream and give me the interpretation. You can only get that from the source. So, Daniel assessed that source via the instrument of prayer. The man called Jesus, a song like I once said, prayer is the key. He said, prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. So, if you want to start winning life, you must start to pray. If you want to have a winning life, you must start to pray. Why? If you don't pray, you become a prey. Hmm. Write it down. Write it down. If you don't pray, you will become a prey. Those who don't pray, they are the prey of the devil. Jesus said, pray that he fall out into temptation. When you fall into the prison, you become a prayer of the devil. Those who don't pray end up to become prayers. They become prayers because the devil will feed on them. The devil will not feed on you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This prophetic agenda of the showers of blessing can only become a reality when you engage in prayers. Now, go very quickly. First Timothy chapter 1 and verse 18. Can I hear the amen? 